Hi, welcome back to Radio Geek. This is a quick little video on how to install the firmware initially onto your device that you may have purchased. Um, without further ado, we'll get right into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get your note out, and if you have a dumb switch, now this is a managed one, but a, um, either one will work. This one is uh, defaulted right now, so it's in the dumb, if you will, configuration, meaning None of your VLANs or anything like that are set up. Um, this just helps with some of your um, settings for some of the other software that we're going to use. But if you don't have one, you can do it without it. It's just a little bit more finicky on the Ethernet port side. So uh, first thing you want to do is get your switch powered up. Uh, plug your computer into it via the Ethernet. Um, you'll see that here. That's the red cable. And then I have a small patch cord here to go between my dumb switch. And then we're going to be flashing the Microtech HAP here with the firmware and then power cord. Uh, very important, you want to start with this device off. You do not want it on. Um, so what we can do is we can uh, plug the patch cord in right into the HAP and then on the HAP, since you got multiple ports, we're going to start an Ethernet port 1. Now it's very important that you follow the instructions step for step um, if you're following either mine or the ones right off the website because that can get you screwed up and uh, We'll show you a little bit later on that we'll actually use some of the other ports But for the initial setup, we're going to start on port 1 and do not apply power yet We're going to set a couple other things up first So after you've laid everything out the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Arden web page which I pulled up here and under software download go to the download big red tab here and then choose the firmware you need for your device. Now we're doing the Microtech HAP, as you can see here, AC light. And so we're going to need both the factory and the system upgrade firmware. Um, you'll need this for Microtechs. However, if you're doing Ubiquities or TP-Links, you only need the factory uh, firmware if you're doing the initial installation. And then once you up, if you want to upgrade and you already have Arden firmware on your device, you only need the system upgrade. So we'll click those and download those. Before we go any further, um, in addition to downloading the firmware, we're also going to need to download Tiny PXE Server. Now, there's two places you can get this. Uh, I've put a link down in the description below. Otherwise, if you go to Docs on the Arden page and the latest, and then go to installing Arden firmware. There are several links in here to the Tiny PXE server program. So once you have that downloaded and installed on your computer, we will uh, keep on trucking and uh, change those IP addresses. So the next step you're going to want to do is on your computer, you're going to want to open up your Ethernet adapter that you're using to connect to the node. Um, once you get to that adapter settings, you want to click properties and then internet protocol version 4 and then we're going to change it to using the following IP address instead of DHCP which it's set to right now. And for this device, it's going to be in the dot one. So we're going to use 192 192.168.1.50. And then subnet of 255.255.255.0. And you can leave everything else blank. Um, there are a few Microtech devices that are in the 88 range. So you'd use 192.168.88.50 or something to that nature. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, most devices uh, use the dot .1 uh, subnet. So we can uh, set that. Hit OK. You can leave the Ethernet status up, and then we'll go back to our device. All right, so once you've downloaded PXE uh, server and the Arden firmwares, locate, it, locate where you downloaded those Arden firmwares to. And you'll see I have them pulled up here. And the one you want to be looking for is the Arden 3.20.3.1. Now that's the current firmware, so if we're later, you might see a different number there. Uh, as well as the AR71XX, Microtik, VM Linux, um, iTrinus. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but the, the ELF file for the Microtik that you downloaded. Now right click on that, 
and go to rename and then we're going to just change it to RB. Now you're going to want to take that and copy it and then move it to your tiny PXE folder that you downloaded and unzipped. And in there there's a files folder and I'll show you that here. Go to PREXE serve files and then just paste it right in there. We'll replace it and we're going to use and that's what we're going to reference when we upload it to upload it to the Microtech and you'll see that here in a second. So now that that's done we can switch back off um, and we'll open up the tiny PXE server. All right, so go on ahead and go to your PXE server folder and open up the tiny PXE EXE file. Now, once you open it up, this is what you'll see on your screen. And there's a few things on here we'll want to make sure are set properly before we start the firmware upgrade. Uh, the first thing under option, you'll see your IP address. Make sure that this matches what you entered into your computer. If it does not, a um, couple things, check this drop down and make sure that it's not it might be listed in there as well if you have more than one network card on your computer the other thing is go back to your ethernet settings and make sure that you saved and hit ok on your ip address and that it saved properly and then you'll have to close out a tiny pxe server and reopen it again to make sure that you get the right ip um, we'll want to make sure that bind ip stays checked and then down here at the bottom uncheck file name make sure that is unchecked usually it's checked and then click the f next to file name here we will want to click this box to open up our RB file that we saved earlier so you see the open go to files then scroll down here it's uh, right here rb.elf that's the file we saved and that's our factory firmware for the Microtech so we'll open that and now you're ready to go so the first thing you want to do is you click online and then once we get everything started here you'll want to watch this window at the top here. So let's go back to our Microtech that we have currently powered off and what we're going to want to do alright we're going to get my handy dandy reset device out here paperclip usually works just fine and we will set up the HAP and you want to push the reset button and hold it until the power comes on and then what you want to do is you'll watch over on your tiny PXE server and it should pop up a little message there and we'll wait for it there you go it'll say that do read RBELF and what that means is that the Microtech board went out there and said hey do you have something for me and it said here you go, here's a file for you, and so it's going to start loading it. Now, we'll let that sit and do its thing. So, on the tiny PXE server, now that the we saw the do read, all you got to do is click offline, and if you want, you can close out of it. And we are done with the tiny PXE server for now. Alright, so I'm back over here on my internet properties. And... We'll get that opened up. And then all you got to do is obtain IP address automatically. Just check that checkbox. Hit OK. OK. And now we're good to go. Now, as we, now that we have the Microtech rebooted, um, before we're able to connect to it, we're going to actually want to move your cable over to port 2 or 3 or 4. Uh, but it's got to be in one of these three ports in order for you to connect to it now. Um, that is a very important step, and if you miss that, you might get a little find yourself a little frustrated after uploading that initial firmware, and you'll be wondering why it's not talking and things like that. So make sure you don't forget that step. All right, so we're back over here on our Internet browser, and we can connect to it. Um, the best way is just to type in the address. It should be 192.168.1.1. And there we go. We have our uh, node. Now, 
Re very, very important. It is not done yet. We are very close, though. So go to setup, and then the password is root, or correction, the username is root, and the password is HSMM. Sign in. And don't do anything else. Go right to the administration tab. Don't set your call sign. Don't do any of that because we are not done installing the firmware. Go to the administration, and you'll want to choose file to upload firmware. It's a two-step process. We, now we want to go and select the system upgrade firmware. All right, and then we will select the Microtik sysupgrade.bin. Open, and then upload, and then just sit back and wait. You can watch the little flashy lights on your Microtik. Um, but it'll take a, a couple minutes for this to be done. And then we will finish our process. So you'll see your Microtik router board reboot a few times. And that is perfectly normal. And uh, usually about a minute to two minutes and we should be done. So we'll, uh, we'll just sit back here for a second. All right. So the note is rebooted twice now. And... We've typed back in. We can just type in at that point, local node dot local dot mesh, right here in the top. And now you're ready to set everything up. You have the firmware installed. So you go to setup, and again, pet username is root, and password is HSMM. And initially, what you're going to want to do is Put your call sign and SSID in here, so KC0WKP-1. And then we're going to set our password. Save changes. And it'll reboot, and you're good to go. Now when it'll come back up, it... It, once it's done rebooting, it should refresh after 60 seconds and come back up to the dash page, to the dashboard. Otherwise, you can type in local .local, local node .local mesh again, or your SSID .local .mesh, um, and that'll take it to it as well. So that was a relatively quick way to install your firmware on your Microtik uh, nodes. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Otherwise, check us out on the Arden uh, Facebook page. Otherwise, uh, my state, uh, Wisconsin uh, Mesh Facebook page, as well as the Arden website itself. Lots of good uh, tutorials as well as the forums itself. Uh, lots of good people on there that are willing to help out. So have fun. Mesh on.